Well, here we go. Luis Miguel and Pedro. Is that who this is? Well, Lu Louis Ve a Vega has one loss, Gil. Oh, yeah. He was doing well until this morning. And now we have Pedro and Luis Miguel. Thank you for coming in with us. Sure, my pleasure. I'm sitting with Gil Najem. This is a very important game uh, between Pedro Piedra Buena and Luis uh, Avela. Each one has one loss so far. Mm -hmm. Pedro lost last night. And Avila lost to Vera. Yes. Uh, Five rails. Possible plus two. Gonna try to hit on the red. Short, long, long. Shot of the red ball, the white short angle since the table playing a little bit long. Just gonna try to go with the short angle. Yes, Pedro has three wins and one loss. So you're right, this is very important. We're watching two of the best players in America, so they played many finals. It's always hard to tell who's gonna win. Nice for rails, four or six rails, but four rails probably. He missed it. Running five though. Yeah, he's gonna play. Try to play double the rail. Reverse, bank shot with a lot of spin. He missed it by nothing.
tables are playing super long. Super long. Nice shot. Possible position. Try to play the red three cushion. Once you miss the kiss, a little bit English. It's automatic. So try to prepare for the next point. of the red quarter ball English no kiss try to control the red good speed both players the 1.5 average in general for the whole year so it's a nice game to watch you get a little bit unlucky just trying to try to go off the white trying to miss the white in the hole between the red and the rail so he can miss the kiss he doesn't like it so far I think he's gonna go with the bank plus two of the white short long long again needs he needs that long rail though oh so yeah, good perfect so good Both players have been dominating the game in America for many years. Pedro is many times national champion, United States. And Avila is Mexican national champion many years. And they both have a lot of titles between Pan American Championship and many, many open tournaments. Pedro is having a good start. I spoke to him early on and there's not a lot of confidence with the table so he hasn't played a good game mm. like really the way he wanted but now yeah, yeah. he's having a good start and it's very important when you play top players you can put a little bit pressure and make a few runs. It's good. Yeah, so far he's been controlling the ball really well. And the more you play on the tables, the more you get confidence and you get used to it. All the angles, the backup. Yeah, the shot of the white red is really big in the corner. Try to hit half a ball. Nice. Wow. He's on a good roll now. Yeah. I think he's on six right now. There is a shot of the red. He's trying to, rock to, to play. He's changing his mind. The white has to be really thin. And you have to miss the kiss on the white on the way back. 
you cannot hit it a lot of ball because you're gonna miss it long. Mm -hmm. So it has to be nice. I think he missed it long, maybe. He missed it long. Run of uh, run of seven. So it's twelve zero already. Little ball, three or five rails. Make sure you don't go in the corner in and out. He went in the corner, so Abed is not playing his best during the tournament. Mm -hmm. He had a couple of games, good games, but he didn't feel the table at all against Vera. No, not this morning. Did not feel good this morning, did he? Yeah, he got bad rolls too, so... Vera had a couple of uh, lucky, lucky kisses too. Yeah, it's normal with any player, you know. Mm -hmm. Usually we shouldn't count the lucky shots because on the long run we all get them, so... Yeah. That's true. Nice, nice shot. Pedro's on fire. <laughs> and in good position if he makes it. <coughs> now he's, the, the white is very close to the rail. He's gonna go five rails. Or maybe three, it depends. We're sitting in a place like we cannot really tell. We don't have a live view of the table, so we're watching the screen, the monitor. It seems he's gonna go like five rails. Tries to miss five. Mm. Perfect. Nice hit. Very nice hit. Another short angle of the white. Not a lot of ball, not too thin of course. Many players missed it in the hole this tournament because the table was really long and... Not Pedro. Yeah, well, he's in control now, so he's getting used to the table. Pedro is one of the players, like, he started the tournament really slow and gradually improve and mm -hmm. the average in this game and his focus too. Yeah, that's something I always notice is Pedro is a slow starter, but as soon as he, oh, that's yours, as soon as he picks up momentum, Sometimes there's no stopping him, you know. Both players are sponsored by Tiger Cues. Nice shot. Last tournament, uh, Pedro eliminated Luis Avila in the quarterfinals mm -hmm. at million dollar billiards. Watch out the pistol direct, perfect. He's oh. a little bit short, huh? Yeah, just a little. Especially but he played it short to miss the kiss. He's playing three days, he's trying to control the, the red ball, but because Big stroke with no English, so he he's a lot of draw with speed, so it's hard to control it 100%. Oh, Avila. Avila needs to put <laughs> his score and put some runs together because this game cannot, maybe if Pedro keeps going this way, it could be less than 15 inning game. Absolutely. Five innings now. Yeah. And already halfway to the uh, finish line. 
two years ago Pedro finished third in the World Cup in Turkey and now he got a wild card to go to Turkey to play the World Cup oh, uh, yes. in, in, in March I believe, March 13. He told me about that. Yeah. 25 hours of flying he says it's going to be. Yeah, usually that's the normal. We live in the opposite side of the world, so... Mm -hmm. If you fly to LAX from... Uh, to fly to Turkey from LAX, you need like 16 hours flight. And after I have to go to the billiard event, so it's, it's another 10 hours, 8 hours. Mm -hmm. Nice shot. Wow. Oh, my goodness. A little bit bad luck on the <laughs> Just, head, huh? Yeah. yeah. Well, at this stage of the game, I think a lot of bad luck, you know, because... Well, sometimes you, when you draw the ball and the ball is in a different position and you don't feel confident, so mm -hmm. you don't have the best feeling. Always you need to add feeling into the shot. Oof. He's trying to play three rails, control the red ball. Should be easy shot for him. He's good. <coughs> he left with a little bit difficult shot because he's very close to the rail. He cannot go off the, the red thin the table is too long so and the white is kissy problem so unless you go it's gonna go five layers of the white and try to control the white with the kiss so he missed the kiss a little long yeah it's uh 17-0 here. Luis Vega is playing Harry Pena. It's 9-9. Nine nine. Ricky Carranco is playing Palafox. And um, Palafox leads 7-5. Carlos Cruz plays Javier Vera. Carlos is behind seven to nine. Pedro has a shot of the white. <laughs> Try to play draw to the long rail. Try to slow your cue ball so that the English work on the third rail. Perfect. Oof. I believe now they changed the UMB changed the format for the World Cups, and it's round robin, four players and two advance to the next round. It's not any more single elimination or one game. They met last year and they changed the format, so we'll see how. That's good news for Pedro because traveling that far just to play one round is for any uh, for any for player. any player for any player. Yeah. And jet lag and yes, nice control. He's when you have a big league, so you feel more comfortable. You still have to score a lot of billiards because you never know. <laughs> At this level, I feel I can put any any time a good run. You're right. We're talking double digit, so yes, mm. that's hundred percent correct. He has a plus two. A lot of ball on the red, so he can miss the kiss and try to come close to the corner. Yeah. Nice. Now he left on the rail. He can still go off the white, right side of the white.
anytime you try to raise the queue you're gonna create a little bit curve and it's very hard to control the aiming but he might go with a different chart maybe of the left side of the right I don't know we'll see it's a short angle but now he's raising and he's gonna try to hit not too thin and not too full yeah that's what I'm talking about it's hard to control the key ball with elevation short angle version for Avila now Avila is really confused he missed very easy shot and he shot it so quick, so fast He's, the score is 20 to 0 Pedro is leading 20 to 0 and they have a little bit history about that I think one time Pedro won 30 to 0 in 9 innings against Avila in San Diego are you suggesting there's some psychological advantage maybe? Yeah, sure, especially when you have a big league and they know, uh, he knows, they played they each have other, history. Yeah. they played each other many, many, many times. Sure, sure. You know, hundreds of yes, times. Yes. Yeah. I watched like over 20 games minimum, mm -hmm. finals I'm mm -hmm. talking, not trainers, because usually they meet in the final game. And... Uh, Pedro takes his time. He's been competing more in the world, World Cups, and more events. So he's getting more experience when you play the European and the Korean. Mm -hmm. And the Vietnamese, of course. And last year in the McCreary tournament, he did really good results. He beat many world champions in the tournament. He beat Torbjorn Blondal, I believe, Danny Sanchez. So he's capable of playing perfect billiards at his level. I mean, he doesn't beat them all the time, but he, he has a chance. Yes, but you have to remember, he doesn't get to play them all the time either. And that's been one of his main points of discussion with me. You know, it's yeah, the sure, sure, very course. hard to find his competition. Of course, at his level here in the United States. Not only competition; you don't have many events. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, the usually in Europe you play the Dutch league, Belgium league, French league, many leagues every weekend. You play over 150 official game a year. Mm -hmm. Of course, with referees and scorekeepers, and the perfect place to play billiards. So. He's playing. He's playing his best game now. So he far. is playing very well, and I bet Luis right now is uh, Luis Miguel is beside himself. I have to change my contract with POV Billiards right now. POV Pool. <laughs> yeah, because this game is going so quick. It really is. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have to book you for another yeah. match after this. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to play off the red. The, this shot is not easy shot because the white is frozen to the rail. Even if you come to the corner, you might miss it short. So yeah, yeah, he played a very hard shot. Yeah, well, he has not many options. So and now he's a little bit relaxed. The score is twenty-four to nothing. Correction, twenty-four to one. 24 to 1, sorry. <laughs> now. I think uh, the highest run I've seen from Luis Miguel is 17 um, at an event. You know, it's not always uh, a must to have a big run, but the game can change so quickly. Yes. Yeah. You can score four, and after six, and after five, yeah. and after three, so... Mm -hmm. And your opponents start missing again, mm -hmm. 
and the game can change you know but in this condition so far how beautiful he missed the short huh yeah under this condition right now it's Avila is not playing his best billiards so he needs to gain momentum and try to make some little runs a little bit long Still difficult position for Luis Miguel. Yeah, well, of course, we play in Pedro and good players. Usually, they leave you tough. Leave you, yeah. You know, nice shot. Oh, this He's is gonna nice. make it or in the hole. Nice shot. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, but look at his cue ball now. Is yeah, he's been making uh, some good shots in the previous games, but there is no second shot, and uh, you need to really feel. You need sometimes good rolls in billiards, let's mm -hmm. put it this way. Mm -hmm. You can fight and fight and fight, but sometimes you need a little bit easy position to, to score. He's backing up. Yeah, he might get lucky a little bit, no? Not enough. When you make a difficult champion, you know, you don't control the ball. Sure. So you make the billiards and after you, you don't know what you're going to end up mm -hmm, with. Mm -hmm. But when you have an easy shot and you can play position or control, now you can build the game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, that's a general concept. It's easy to say, but it's hard to do. Yeah, it's just something, one of those things. So, and Pedro is good in building the game and putting the game together and let it run. So he can put pressure on anybody, any player in the world. No. Two years ago, Pedro played uh, almost a general average for the whole year, 1.7. That's good. In general, it's world class. And he won many tournaments with the USBA. Mm -hmm. Of course, not the strongest competition but he did 1.9 general average and I think his record was in San Diego six years ago he averaged in the final five games 2.5 oh my something god and change and we had all the lot of Pan American champions mm -hmm. from Ecuador from Peru from Mexico from in, Colombia in five games that's uh, in five games that's yes. amazing of course, really he's, he's not, he's, it's hard to maintain it, you know, but mm -hmm. he can explode and score a lot of billiards. And especially, he, he was playing at his equipment in his room, mm -hmm. so he knows the table completely. But again, you can practice on the same table 10 hours and after you have a bad game. He's going to drop it to the corner, and if he misses, it's going to be safe. No, no miss. Yeah, the game is going to be like over. Well, you're speaking of averages. Pedro is almost shooting a 3.0 in this. Yeah, that's how they average high because they cannot average each game 2 or 2.5. No. They can do 5 average on one game. He had two records, by the way. He finished 40 points in 8 innings twice in his life official game. Mm. One time in the Nationals in Houston mm -hmm. and one time in the World Cup in Korea against the Turkish player. He finished 40 in 8 innings. Oh. So, 5 average in the World Cup, one game, it gives you like something to talk about, you know? Definitely. The Tiki, rail ball, corner. He didn't get back. He shot it left-handed, I believe. And no feeling at all, zero.
sometimes we play like a world class player and sometimes we play like a beginner so so far Pedro has a reverse of the red long long to the corner he's gonna go too long huh I like to see a nice run from uh, mm, Avila. Avila yeah he's gonna mm. play off the off the yellow sea rails mm -hmm. and the red I think it's big I don't think there is a hole from our side to the corner to the rail so he made it the, yeah there is no room so now he can score some billiard he has a shot of the red three rails long short long try to miss the kiss and play position for the next shot nice that's what I like to see mm -hmm. five rails no he hit mm. he table playing too long but he needs to hit less ball huh he played with a little bit Reverse English? Yeah, I saw that. But he needs a little bit less ball. He still hit too much ball. Now he left Pedro maybe. I, mean, I don't think there is a ticky behind the red from my angle. He doesn't look like it will fit. But he's gonna, he's, he'll find a way. Three rails. He can play three, three rails. He might play this ticky. Maybe there is room. Yeah, I don't see it from my angle. There is a room and he has to miss the kiss from red and white yeah he's looking into into a bank I believe three rails in the corner yeah that's it mm -hmm. that's the shot yeah because I don't think he can go around the white uh, to play the ticky no no this is this is a good shot the table playing long so he can still has a chance to make and the only thing when you hit close to the corner is hard to control. You have to have a really high feeling and play with system, of course. But if he goes in the hole with a soft speed, he can leave Avila difficult shot. He made it perfectly. Yeah. Yeah, he just so much confidence. And you can't miss. He's gonna play around the table. Six rails. Miss the kiss on the on the red. Oh. And make the beards. And I think that's it. One more. One more, he got a shot, uh, he has maybe plus two behind the white, like means right side of the white, short, long, long again. Mm -hmm. The only thing that the red is hanging in the middle of the table, so it's going to be a small ball, you have to That's be really precise. Yeah, very easy to shoot long. Yeah, very easy to shoot long or to... But or too short. Yeah, but he's shot it with speed, so this he can make uh. it bigger. Maybe from behind, he finished the game. He did. Wow. In just under three innings. Very good. Pedro, uh, in just under a three average, 11 innings, 30 points. Exceptional billiards from Pedro Piedra Buena, who. Very, in, yeah, he's just uh, very strong. Very, very, very strong. So we will toggle to another table because we have other matches going on. Uh, I think I will uh, put you through to uh, Luisa Vega yeah. versus Harry Pena. So stand by, folks.